Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll provide you moody type urban effects which is for the camera raw filter and which is trendy and the creative as well. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first I'll open it up. That means the before image was like that, the traditional image, amazing. But after adding the preset, you are getting the moody look of this photo. So I've just got this image from the unsplash.com providing you the photo credit line and download link in my video description. By pressing Ctrl or Command J, you can drag this one and making a copy of and then go to the filter camera filter. So you know camera filter is a plugin of the Photoshop and if you are the user of the CS version, you are getting this one by default. Otherwise, you have to install it manually. Installation file download link in my video description. Here you will find out a small menu, go to the load settings options from here. I made a preset which is the urban moody type and load it up now you are getting these type of effects so what i have done here let's see the settings temperature plus 4 for the warm look and exposure minus 0.25 for the de expose this one and highlight minus 16 de highlight the face where the overexposed area and the shadow plus 8 added some shadow for the for shadow or balancing lights and the whites minus 22 texture minus 2 for the soft look dehaze plus 1 if i make it hazy it won't be a proper way that's why i made it plus 1 for the dehaze option and vibrance which is the mid tone i made it minus 14 which is the creative value that means uh, when you are making the vibrance or mid tone a little bit higher down it will give you extra benefits from this and the saturation plus one and here rgb tone curve i locked up here here and here and i added some grammar the input value is 3 output value 17 and input value 46 output value 39 and the input value 100 and output value 96 and the rest of the thing is same i didn't touch over there and the sharpening i made some sharpening a little bit plus 9 and the rest of the thing is same and the luminance of noise reduction here is two portion actually sharpening and noise reduction from the noise reduction panel i'm just adding some luminance and that is 43 and then the hsl panel hue saturation luminance hue which color you will give in your photographs or which color will be that is plus 2 for all setup red orange yellow green aqua blue purple and magenta and saturation plus 45 for the red for the lipstick color and some portion of the face and the orange plus 5 the rest of the color is 5 orange yellow green aqua blue purple and magenta and luminance i made the luminance down for the red for the prominent of the face or the lips color minus one for all the colors like orange yellow green aqua blue purple split toning you know split toning is the different thing which is the different two colors which is just belong in a highlight portion and the shadow portion in a highlight portion you will get the value which is 125 for the color code or color value and the saturation 15 in the shadow portion that means the hairs and the other areas which is the shadow and that value at uh, that color value is 237 and the saturation 13 no lens correction issues and the vignetting i used a little bit vignetting that is minus one and the calibration i made the red primary color four and the blue primary color minus nine and the, all the thing is same and hit the ok button you're getting huge change of this photo the normal image and moody urban photo you are getting like this so let's apply this one in another photo suppose this photo yeah this photo before one was like that and afterward you are getting like that how to apply this one so make a copy of this one or if i just show you in a fresh way go to the file and open up suppose you got that image you want to edit the image like this so this one is your image and press ctrl or command j for the new copy of this layer and then go to the filter camera filter and i'll provide you that preset download link in my video description after downloading that you will get the name urban moody xmp the extension is xmp and load it up you'll get that settings in your photo so if you need to adjust the light and everything you can adjust that in this photo i will change the light or i need to change the light 
so here i am adding some lights and other stuff which will give you the best output in your photographs why i just made this one just because of it will make your task easier and it will make the photography level you know next one warning is that the my photo example and your photo is not same especially the light is not same so do adjust the plugins or the setup if you need all the assumption in that preset so hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and until the next video i am here sending out today bye bye